Hey, band. Hey, what? Hey, band. Hey, what? So I want to just give you a brief video today about how to clean your instrument. Everybody's talking about germs these days, so we might as well get rid of them on our instrument while we're thinking about it a lot. So I want to start quickly with just brass instruments. So the trombones and the euphoniums and the trumpets. When we're cleaning our instrument, first and foremost, the most germs live in your mouthpiece. So your mouthpiece, just this part here, and of course bigger for the trombones and the euphonium, this can go right in the dishwasher, just this part. Stick it right in the dishwasher. When it comes out, it'll be nice and clean and also sterile. So in the dishwasher, I'd say once a week, definitely. Now cleaning your trumpet or your trombone slide. So we have this thingy called the lead pipe. You may remember learning about that way back when in September. And we have the tuning slide. So what you're going to do is, first of all, you're going to pull all the slides out. So that includes this one and this one and this one and even this little one right here. Take the whole darn thing apart. You're also going to take your valves out. Now the valves, I'm just going to have you clean with a Q-tip and then just put some fresh valve oil on them. I'll show you what I mean real quick here. So the valves we're not going to put in the bathtub, but the rest of it you can. All the slides and the trumpet itself. Just put it in a warm bath with a little bit of mild dish soap and let it soak there for a while and rinse it out really well. Rinse out all the parts. The valves we're going to keep out of the bath because they have this felt thing here and if it gets wet it uh, doesn't work as well. So just take a q-tip and kind of scrub it off here and go in the little piston holes here. Try to get all the goop out. Oh my goodness it's nasty in here. Oh gross. Obviously I need to give mine a bath. Now so once you have that all cleaned out you want to put some valve oil on the valves before you put them back in the trumpet, okay? As for the rest of the trumpet, put it in the bath, soak it for a little while, and then rinse it out with warm water. Now before you put all the slides back together, you want to make sure you use some slide grease. Um, that way it won't get stuck, just like you grease the parts of an engine in a car. So a little bit of slide grease on there, and on the other half too and then just put it back together. Same with all the other slides. Now for the trombones, it's pretty much the same deal. Oh, trumpets also, there's this thing called a snake, and this works for trombones too. Let's see if I can find mine. Snake! Oh, here it is. So, you can use this thing, which you can get on Amazon. It's not really 100% necessary right now if you can't get it, um, but you can use this snake and you, what you do is you take your tuning slide out so you just have the lead pipe and you just push it through, give it a good scrub on the inside. And then it just comes out the other side and you pull it through. There you go. So that's a good thing to do while it's in the bath before you rinse it to get out any extra stuff in there. So the woodwind instruments we do not put in the bath. Most definitely you don't want to submerge a woodwind instrument in the bath. You don't even really want to run water through it. But I will tell you what you can do. Saxophone mouthpieces you can wash with soap and water in the sink. Just rinse it off real well. Flutes, we've talked about before how your head joint, the embouchure plate here, you can clean with one of these alcohol prep pads, which are, I know are still in the stores right now. You can also use a Q-tip dipped in rubbing alcohol to clean out the inside here. Of course, you're always using your flute swab still. And finally, if you want to get any germs off your keys, you can use the same alcohol swab to clean the keys also. For clarinets, your mouthpiece. You can use an alcohol swab and a Q-tip to scrub out the inside of your mouthpiece. It does have cork on it, so if you really, really want to rinse it, you can just put a whole bunch of cork on the cork, cork grease on the cork, and then give it a rinse. But don't wash it, don't uh, submer uh, submerge it in water when you're going to wash it. Same for you clarinets. You can just take an alcohol prep pad and wipe the outside to get all the germs off. And you, of course, want to be using the swab on a regular basis. Now, saxophones, it's probably about that time for you to get, to get a swab also, which probably didn't come with your instrument, but it looks a lot like this. 
and you just put in on Amazon, you just put in alcohol, um, excuse me, alto saxophone swap, and you can get one that looks like this. And the way you do it is like this. So you drop this guy in here, like going fishing, and then you reach in the bell and pull it out. And you have to tug it through. That's all there is to it. Do that a couple times to get the stuff out of the inside. So I hope this is helpful for you. The most important part is whatever part of the instrument you put your mouth on is the part that you want to do the best job cleaning. Um, if you have any questions, just have your parents send me an email, or you could also send me an email too. Hope things are going well. Take care.